Take. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a great weekend. I recently found out that G Suite supports live streaming events through Google Meet. So in other words, normally when you tune into a Google Meet, it's a normal video conference where people can interact and share their screen and all that kind of good stuff. But you can set up an event as a live streaming event and anybody with the live streaming link can view only, which means they're just tuning in to your broadcast meeting or event and they can't interact in any way. And that's gonna be useful if your organization is holding a meeting that you may want the public public to tune into, or you simply want to use uh, Google as your live streaming platform in place of something like YouTube or Facebook Live. Um, so this is pretty cool, and I'd like to take you through how to set that up. So uh, to start with, you need to make sure that live streaming is enabled in your admin console with G Suite. So we're going to click on that, and uh, when you're in your admin console, you're simply going to select Apps we're going to go to the G Suite core services. And in this list, we have Google Meet. So we're going to click on this and we have some Google Meet settings that we can change. So uh, one of the settings in this um, console is the stream option. So to turn that on or off, we simply need to hit this little triangle. This opens up the settings and now we can change this from off to on, or if you wanna disable this, obviously you can turn it off here as well. So once your stream setting is turned on, now we can enable a live stream through Google Meet. And to do that, the easiest way is through Google Calendar. So I'm going to set up a dummy live stream event at let's say noon tomorrow. Let's say tomorrow at noon, I'm gonna be hosting a lunch and learn. That's a webinar format and I don't want people to interact. They, I just want them to simply tune in and follow along with my lesson. Well, this is gonna be a great way to do so. So basically you're gonna create a calendar event. I'm just gonna call this test stream. And uh, I'm going to wanna add Google Meet conferencing info as I normally would. So I've got my Google Meet link set up there. And now I can add any guests at this point that I would want to participate in the meeting. And what I mean by that is, if I was hosting a meeting where I wanted some individuals to be able to interact with me through video, voice, and sh uh, screen sharing, then I'm going to want to add them as guests to this calendar event. Uh, if I don't want anybody to be able to interact and I simply want to broadcast this, then I can basically skip this step. So after I've added any guests that I need, in my case, I don't need to, I'm going to press this triangle next to um, the Google Meet information and I now have an option that says add live stream. So I click on this and now I get a stream link separate from the Google Meet link. You can see I have my normal meet.google.com and the little code which supports up to 250 participants. Now I have a live stream link. So anybody with this link uh, can simply view the meeting. They can't participate in any way. Now at this point, the live stream is set up and I have a couple of different options uh, for how to share this stream link with my participants. One is, I can simply copy this information and send an email out or use an automated system if I'm using a registration system to include this link for people to tune in. The other thing that I can do is if I wanna specifically invite people, I can go to this uh, live streaming event, edit it, and then at the top where it says more actions, I can create a view only event. So what I've got now is I've got two calendar events. I've got the test stream event with the actual Google Meet information and I can invite anybody that would wanna participate in that meeting or rather that I would want to have participate with me in this meeting. But then I've got this live stream event. This is the view only event and I can add any guests I want to invite directly to this calendar event and by accepting the calendar event, they would get the live stream link built right into the, uh, the calendar event through Google Calendar. So either way works. I can simply copy the link and email it or I can create this uh, live stream view only event and then um, invite anybody. And obviously what's great is with Google Calendar, I can attach any files relevant. Um, I can put a description. Um, so if I was doing, let's say a lunch and learn for 10 people and it was a webinar format, I could create the live uh, stream view only event attach my slides to this calendar event and then put some information in the description and then everybody tuning in would have everything they need to participate in my live stream, which is great. So one thing that's important to note about live streaming through Google Meet is as of now, any G Suite users can take advantage of this service, but starting in September, uh, only certain tiers of G Suite will have this available. I believe it's 
enterprise and education. It actually says right here, uh, enterprise and enterprise for education and G Suite enterprise essential users. So I don't have any of those tiers, so I'm probably going to lose this function starting in September, but let's see what plays out. Google may extend that. Um, we'll see what happens. The other thing I wanna point out that's really, really cool is that if you use the live streaming function in uh, Google Meet, you can support up to 100,000 viewers in that live stream event. So whereas a normal Google Meet video session uh, supports 250 participants for G Suite users, uh, a live stream event can support 100,000 users, which is really, really cool. So um, I haven't used this in practice yet. Um, as you can see, it's really, really easy to set up. And I did test the link. In fact, if we click on our live stream link, let me just copy this and we'll just paste it into a new tab here. Please wait for the uh, streaming to begin. So they get uh, your participants would get this waiting screen. And as soon as I launch the meeting, that would be entered into the 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 um, the live stream, and and that's pretty much that. So it's really easy to use. Seems like a really really nice alternative if you want to, um, uh, you know, put on any webinars or do any sort of live stream lectures of any kind. Because then you don't have to worry about the administration control of muting people and kicking them out if they're being inappropriate or Zoom bombing or, or whatever. So uh, seems like a good option. Um, if any of you have taken advantage of the live streaming in, in G Suite um, so far this summer, I would love to hear about your experience with it. I'm going to be playing with this a little bit more until I potentially lose access to it in September. But at any rate, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. As always, hit that subscribe button. I release new tech tips every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m. And check out the DAE.com for our full list of online workshops, private lessons, summer camp, and after-school programs for the fall. Uh, and if you have an idea for a tech tip you'd like to see me create, throw it in the comments, and I'll do my best. Thanks, and have a great day.